there, today I wanted to show you how to do the tape slowdown effect in Pro Tools. Uh, on this particular song, I had to choose at what point in the process do I apply this effect. And I decided I'm going to do my final mix of all the instruments onto a stereo track, and the lead vocal onto a track, and the backing vocal onto a track, and uh, then I, I apply the effect um, where I want it with, with a little with a lot of the mix done already. Uh, you can do this at a number of different spots uh, in, in the process of your production. But that's where I decided to do it. I try to make these stems and kind of add the effect then. So here's the point in the song where I wanted it. He says, that's nice. It's clear to see, Lord, you're not like me. All right, on the word me. So I had the vocalist sing the word me, um, and we had her sing these different notes of a kind of a fun jazzy chord. Me. Yeah, sorry about that popping. I don't know why it's doing that. Uh, but you, you'll still get the point. Let's say, in my smart tool. All right, so select the the audio you want to have the effect on it then go to audio suite and pitch shift verify the default setting is a slowdown effect but you can change it to a speed up effect and in that case you'd have to select the, the beginning of this region or clip excuse me uh, let's hit process and here we go Please play. Thank you much. Me. That's probably a bit much, but you can see the effect worked. And here's kind of the end result that I was looking for. I guess I didn't do the slowdown effect here yet. Oh, where'd you go? Audio suite, pitch shift, verify, process. Alright, well that's not quite where I want it yet, but you get the idea and you can I think you can hear the potential of how this could work. So I hope this is a, a great tool to add to your creative toolbox in production and um, that's all I got for this time guys. We'll see ya.